light of recent I must Hey, what is going on guys? Politic Gaming here and today I'm going to be doing um, a new gameplay. I'm going to be playing as the uh, nation of Ukraine. Um, I kind of cheated and I ended the war in the Donbass region uh, just to kind of like focus on the economy and focus on stuff like that. So um, I'm going to be doing something like that and I think I really kind of want to join the European Union. Um, I think that would uh, honestly be pretty fun to do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the national service. Got to get 4G. I want a 4G tablet at bingo, but at my house it only works in the attic. So there's no way to hook up pastry, rec pastry recipes in my kitchen. It is a shame to have to put out such effort at my age. What is the government going to do about it? We fucking spoiled brat. Hey, what is going on, Backstar and JJ Holmes? Um, yeah, I think um we will have a goal of joining NATO. I think I could actually join NATO right now. Uxit, just call it Uxit. Uh, fine. Okay, so I'm gonna have to start uh softening up some laws. If I want to join the European Union, free multi-party system is good. Um, I don't think they care about what our elections are funded by. I could have changed that because I think I saw something that wasn't too good in there. Pull up 270, tell Russia you mean business. Uh, I can just tell Russia to screw off. Uh, JJ Holmes, why do you want me to pull up 270? Okay, so if I want to join NATO. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, go to other organizations. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply to become a member of NATO. Encouraging unemployment reduction. Wow, nearly 10% of the population is unemployed. File accepted. We are now going to be submitted to a vote via the rest of the NATO members. So that's actually going to be good. Um, I think Montenegro is actually a part of... Uh, bill, has been... bill has been voted on and law has been passed. For first bill, it's a, it's a success. Okay, so let's go to inflation. I need to get my inflation down. It's actually been going down. Um, something I can do, I can actually come over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass tax law. I'm going to go over to frequent and very repressive. I'm going to go ahead and check the parliament's position on that. We need to pass it with one law that would actually get it to be liked. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it. called deflationary reform and then go ahead and introduce that so and then you say to increase the income tax so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the income tax on the rich let's debate JJ Holmes wants to debate boys Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm going to have to increase the tax on the pornography industry. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hey, what's going on, Ninja?
Yeah, JJ, um, I don't mean to get personal, but, I mean, I did notice that you, that your profile does, like, state that you were kicked out of a Trump rally, and I specifically do remember, um, something like that happening, and the profile picture just kind of gives it away, so I'm, so I was honestly curious about that, because I, because I kind of pieced that together last night and I was just like I was just like I think I think that's the kid plan for youth up oh, NATO membership refused two votes were against so I know Montenegro must have voted against me um, who else? Hey, Backstar, come on. Who else voted against me? Oh, Slovakia. You were refused because you have oil somewhere. Oh, speaking of that. Let's go ahead and make a contract with states. Oh, no oil, but natural gas. I do have natural gas. Um, Ukraine actually has a specific relationship with the major powers. They actually have an agreement um, back in the 90s after they broke away from the Soviet Union that um, the United States, Russia, United Kingdom, and uh, I believe France actually um, all promised saying if something were to happen to them, then they would come to Ukraine's defense um, since they had to give away their nuclear weapons. However, um, that actually had to... That actually was thrown out the window um, upon... Um, the Russian invasion of eastern and southern Ukraine. So it was a it was a slippery slope, honestly. Um, what's our debt situation looking like? More than eighty percent. Okay, so we would not be able to join the European Union if we were to do that. So. Energy, 44%. I may pull up 270 here in a minute. 44% um, is runoff of nuclear electricity. Bangladesh. Right now I have the old 2017. Judd, 2018. Sadly, I wouldn't spend over $80 for it. Sad, I work in a cyber security personnel. So this is, this would be great. Fossil electricity, only 3,000 coal power plants. Okay, so we have 204,000 in the career army and 900,000 in reserves. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Rick Scott has got to go. Ah. Um, I think I'm going to invest a little bit into infrastructure. All right, I'm going to increase funding for access to the handicapped. And I'm going to put more money into... What? All right, I'm going to put more money into rail transport and access for the handicapped. I've increased it by 0.25. Increased it by a quarter of a percent. Happiness increases in Ukraine. Hopefully it's because of all the funding that I'm giving infrastructure. Bulvaria. Or Bolivia. I said Bulvaria. Uh, I meant to say Bolivia. I've never really played as Bolivia. It's Republic, $35 billion GDP. 
11 million people. Um, ooh, 6% deficit. Healthy inflation and unemployment diet. Uh, 4% growth. Oh, Bolivia seems to be in a good spot. One of the weird things about infrastructure in South America is that, like, the, this pass right here, this is actually, there's actually no infrastructure that's being built anywhere in this area. It's mostly because, uh, um, there's, like, just a bunch of tribes and stuff like that and a lot of forest area. It's, like, one of the most uninhabitable planet places on the Earth for regular humans. And, um, there would actually be, like, a trans-American highway. So, like, it would be able to connect, like, Alaska all the way to Argentina. But the, just this part right here just is not connected. Those resources is a good part. Well, I mean, selling those resources and then developing your economy would be pretty good. Launch a space program. So I already have a space program. But I don't have any launch pads. So I'd have to do a lot of partnering. Integration of the handicapped in the workplace, $150 million. Let's go ahead and fund that. Um, I think I think any any other spending increases are is actually going to be held off because um I want to get my inflation down. Ukraine can into space. No, Poland can into space. I need to do a series on that where I go into space is Poland. You are giving We now have an Um is this Moldova? Yeah it's Moldova, it's our neighbor. Um what's our relations with you Moldova? Good relations, light green. I think I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with you. Who else here is going to get Fallout 76? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be getting Fallout 76 around the time it comes out, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. I'm definitely going to be live streaming it. If you guys are getting Fallout 76, then um, like I would totally want to play the beta with y'all. Assassination, wow, 7% loss. I would if I wasn't living by the check, I will. <laughs> okay, so 11% inflation, so I gotta get that down all the way to uh, less than 1%. The vote was Do a giveaway. I would. Giveaway of Fallout? Uh, Battlefield 5, honestly. It's a, kind of like an eh for me. It's just, it's just weird, honestly. Good morning. Okay. They want to purchase railway construction. No. Of whatever you can afford. I, I can send one of y'all a chocolate bar. Get a statement. And... Inflations, check that. There's no way I can cheat through the inflation, so that's the thing that sucks about it. I can't cheat my way into the European Union. I don't think so. Unless, unless let's uh, do another Greece. The only giveaway I would care about is GPS Forward to 2018 DLC. Oh, you should have been around whenever I was giving away the 2018 version of... Of, um... Power and Revolution, because uh, I worked with Eversim on that.
Watch out for unemployment. All right, it looks like our financial situation is getting better. It's less than a percent. Metro Exodus? Oh, God. Uh, I think I can pull up 270 on my phone. What do you need, what do you need me to pull up 270 for? Okay, I will ban you from my channel if you ever talk about Fortnite or PUBG again. Ew, Grand Theft Auto. Everyone always freaks out about FIFA. This is one of the funniest things. Well, JJ, what do you want me to pull up 270 for? FIFA is dead. Wow, the live stream chat is really active tonight. I'm just going to let some time pass. PG nuke Russia. I don't have nukes. What are you talking about? I can only give you my bubble. PUBG after we'll see about four. The Senate. Ugh, radiation. Played a little too much Fallout. Send emergency aid. I could. You know, I'm gonna get rid of this disaster. Execute in order 1991. Please. All right, <sighs> give me a second. Reverse USSR. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a little debate going in. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little debate going in a the chat. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up 270. And I am gonna pull up the Senate map. I wanna, I wanna hear you guys' thoughts about what's going on in the Senate. I really want to see a Bangladesh live stream, please. <laughs> Here, give me a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Dude, actually, I'm gonna do a window capture. it wants to. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a display capture. Okay, there we go. That works. Alright boys, we want to talk about Sealand and the US Senate. Alright, so just to kind of be a good boy. Um, so, if you guys haven't actually been watching my stuff, um, you actually, 
I've actually been doing a lot of these uh, election maps. So, um, honestly, I just want to hear you guys' thoughts while you guys are here um, about the U.S. Senate ra map. Sealand is the best one. Well, this is my own prediction. This is actually a leftover from the last one. I'm going to go hard blue for hard red for Florida. Good old Bill Nelson. Nah, even without Florida, I mean, it would still be 54 to 46. Hey, what's going on, British Bayonet? I missed you. <clears throat> I wouldn't know because I'd only have a mild interest in the topic. Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of content coming out of me um, for this uh, elections. Pretty big because honestly, I love you, PG. Please give me money. Hey, that's supposed to be your job. You're supposed to give me money. So, I think. Oh, yeah, good old Beto O'Rourke. Ugh, God. I really do not like Beto. Beto just, Beto just looks like the kind of guy. This is not Ukraine. Um, Joe Donnelly, Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin and Joe Donnelly honestly have really bad hopes for them. And, yeah, like, both of them are just, like, really unpopular. And West Virginia, honestly, I really, I really know that West Virginia is just gonna really go red this year. So I feel like Patrick Morrissey is going to be to become the next senator. My next Netflix suggestions all to do with Hitler. Country road, take me home to the place that I belong. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see what happens. Just, oh man, I can't change California. Let's uh make everything red. Just... Give the Republicans everything. There we go. God, is he singing again? Flip Nevada. There we go. 60 to 40, boys. This is it. This is exactly how it's going to go. There we go. Hard 60 to 40. Just uh, everything. Just everything's red. Just giant red wave. Just that's all we're going to do. Then, you know, this is one of the weirdest live streams I've ever done. Okay, now let's turn everything blue. All goes, all goes to the monarchist part. <laughs> Texas is looking good. But how about now? <laughs> oh, my God. Go Mississippi blue. Florida blue, Indiana blue, Tennessee, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Don't raise my expectations. Dang, even, even with the blue wave, even with the blue wave, like, look at this, this is all blue. The Democrats would still not have a supermajority. They would still not have three-fifths of the House, or three two-thirds of the House. Current U.S. Senate, this is what it's actually looking like. Doug Jones. These guys aren't even up for election until 2020. In 2022. Florida. Marco Rubio's up for re-election in 2022. And then Bill Nelson's up for election this year. Honestly, my... How do I reset the map? Okay, there we go. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and make an updated version right here. Um, West Virginia, honestly, is gonna go pretty red. I'm fairly confident that PG for president. I'm fairly confident West Virginia can go red. 
Um, Joe Donnelly. I think Mike Braun will have a narrow chance of winning, so I'm going to put it in there. Um, West Virginia is not going to go blue. I am fairly certain that they are not going to go blue. Missouri, I'm going to leave lightly blue. Arizona, I'm going to leave in the red. Um, Dean Heller, he was actually in the lead last time I checked those polls, so I'm going to put it in him. Um, and in North Dakota and Florida, I'm going to go ahead and leave in the blue. Mansion's not very popular in West Virginia because... Because West Virginia, West Virginia voted for Donald Trump by 20, maybe 40 points. So I guess here's my little updated prediction. Okay, this is no longer Ukraine. See ya. <laughs> I'm about to go back to um, Ukraine in a second. I was just doing this. Mansion's a blue dog. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Tim Kaine. Let's change Tim Kaine. Let's put it in the Corey Stewart, county supervisor. No one knows who he is. That Tim Kaine's ahead. Really, really good, though. Christian Gillibrand. Ew. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to go back to Ukraine now. All right. So hopefully this is actually showing up. Okay, there we go. So that's honestly what I think. Um, I think that... I think honestly the... Um, Republicans can really keep their majority this year. Um, I think it's a long shot to really say it because, I mean, like, it's like there's not a lot of popularity that goes into supporting Donald Trump. But whenever you don't support him, you get even more unpopular. So sticking with Donald Trump is really the saving grace that the Republican Party has. And the people in the House... The House, I don't really know. Trying to decide if the DLC, $65 for the game and DLC is worth it. Um, I think the game and the 2018 edition of the game are worth it. Those are honestly what I recommend. Um, other than that, the other DLC, I don't really have the um, modding tool, even though I, I might get the modding tool. Because I really have a couple of scenarios that I would really love to play out. Honestly, I may, might make like a Fallout um, series or something like that. Like playing as like the Commonwealth USA or whatever. Put the STD in stud and all I need is you. Kill, dude, kill yourself. Happiness declines in Ukraine, education, and, okay, let's go ahead and go back to Ukraine. Um, I actually might do a, um, you could play Old World Blues in Hawaii 4. I will if you do it first, PG. Same, dude, I already, I already have it. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, kill me. Uh, Poland. Good God, you're ugly. Hey, Berlin. Ooh, Kiev. Luhansk. Let's see what Eversim puts in Paris. They have a city outside of Paris. Cyrus. This is actually where Eversim is based. God, they really love the killing. 
everyone, like, right now. What is this game gotta be like, so expensive? I know, right? Um, it, honestly, it has to be so expensive because it's, it's, it's just, um, the Steam sale going through your videos to learn the basics. I'm very excited. Hey, what's going on, Cody? Um, it's a pretty fun game. Um, just watch out for the bugs and stuff like that, and you'll be fine. Um, but thank you so much for, um, looking into my channel. Thank you for that, and consider becoming a subscriber. Um, just Thanos Ukraine right now. <laughs> Pull up election night. Um, been at 40 pounds for ages, not been on sale. I don't know when you got on on sale, that's pretty surprising. Construction. Okay, of course it's going to be considered a waste of public funds. Hell yeah. Got another subscriber, boys. Hell yeah. Um. Government. Election night, please. Um, I have no idea what you were talking about election night for. Well, just eight watching. Well, there's tells me nine's watching. Told me eleven was watching them a while ago. Let's see how the head of state. Up. Oh, okay. I thought that's. I thought that meant billions. Elections. Who needs that? I know, right? So, speaking of that, let's go ahead and uh, appoint me for life. Hell yeah. Okay. I am uh, democratically elected by universal suffrage, so that is good. Well, not the PTK, but... Selling soul for video game. Up oh, terrorist attack. Up oh, okay, of course. They bombed their own cities. 69 are dead. Pull up Google Slides. Only issuance of $9 million of debt. <laughs> At least it's not as much as the other. Train attack? Oh my god. Pull up porn. Dude, kill yourself. How politics and revolution? More like poverty and revolution. <laughs> well, guys, rip for the train attack. Who did that? I think it was Tripster. I'm blaming Tripster. Is power and revolution on sale? I'm gonna look that up. Store page. Oh, wow. As it's 25% off, even with the DLC. Everything's 20% off. So, if you guys have not, I'm going to go ahead and do Everson a favor. How do I share something? Oh, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and do something for Twitter. Do a giveaway, PG. I'm not... You, you really think I have the money to buy that? Uh, shit, I forgot my... Twitter password. Well, forgot my Twitter password. I'm gonna do Daddy Everson a little favor. Do a little advertisement for them. Even though I can't get into my Twitter. Oh, I didn't even email the link. Kill me.
Yes, you can make one peeve video. Are you kidding? I just bought it two days. Are you kidding? I just bought it two days ago for full place. <laughs> um. Oh no, I was just uh, I was going to Twitter so I could actually like post a link uh, for people who actually follow my Twitter. Tell them that tell them that the uh, game is actually on sale, twenty five percent off. No, this is not paid for my Everson. This is just me. Let's see how that looked. You guys just hear me, like, not playing. If you haven't played it, get a refund. Buy it again. Please. Alright. So. I'm gonna go ahead. That's not gonna work. Ouch. Okay, there we go. So. Um, yeah, honestly, it is worth buying, um, especially when it's on sale, especially when it is on sale. So, honestly, it's a pretty fun game, very in-depth, very, very fun to play. Um, and honestly, to me, it's pretty much, yeah, just like Philip said, it's a one-of-a-kind. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing like it, and honestly... When when you find the chance to buy it, um, just buy it. It's it's a it's a great game. It is very good whenever you get the 2018 DLC because the 2018 DLC allows you to go into space. It allows you to um, invest in. Is it 1.6 gigabytes of storage for anyone else? Seems a bit low. Um, let me see how much it is for me. Uh, properties, local files, it's 4.7 gigabytes, well, 4,700 uh, megabytes, that's what it tells me. Build roads, build roads, build roads, build roads, build roads, oh, wrong one. Uh, secondary highway, 500 miles, let's go ahead and invest in it. I got no approval from that. S no, you're spending money you don't have. That's exactly the point. That's exactly the point. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's see what our next debt is going to be. $230 million of debt is what we're about to incur. Agencies... Previous A, B, C. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Getting a lot of... Getting a lot of warnings on the UK Discord server. Speaking of Discord, guys. Um... I want to invite you guys to a Discord that I actually have. This is a, a Commonwealth of Virginia. I want everyone to join that Discord right there. Um, this is a Commonwealth of Virginia uh, roleplay. So go ahead and join that uh, Discord. It's very, very fun. Just sign up for a party as soon as you get in. It's either Republican or Democrat. We should be actually having elections within next week. So, guys, if you guys want to, uh, if you guys are interested in that, then we can um, meet. Meet there. And uh, you guys can actually see a lot of my stuff. Um, 
And yeah, so go ahead and join that Discord right there. And um, thank you guys for that. Um, Parliament, I can dissolve Parliament and just ban all the other parties. Should. Should do it. I should do it. Google Slides. Why do you keep wanting me to go to Google Slides? Legislation, uh, two turns, how about, okay, let's, collections, okay, I'm going to change that. I seceded from Virginia, yeah, kill yourself. Okay, so I'm going to change that to majority, just in case we actually go through a election. Politics Putin banning the opposition. Politics Putin, that actually sounds good. <laughs> Increasing provision. Growth forecast for the end of the year. Oh boy, sorry. Work on election night. I may actually be covering the election uh, whenever it comes along. Um, whenever the 2018 uh, midterm elections um, actually come around. I'm actually planning on uh, covering them on my channel. So if you want to see all of that, come over here. Attack Mother Russia. Have you, have you watched any of the World Cup? No, I have not. I honestly have not been interested in the World Cup. Speaking of the World Cup, let's go ahead and go over to culture. Up, oh, wrong one. Sports. Didn't you say me and you were doing election coverage in November? Well, Baxar, you've never really gotten back to me, so if you want to do it together, then yes. Okay, let's go to football, soccer. Fun the living hell out of football, soccer. Governor Freezer Burn. Yeah, we should be seeing another... Um, Fallout gameplay soon, since that one was such a fun one. Yeah, let's go ahead and start going into some nepotism right there. Okay, so I'm going to increase you to 210,000 active duty troops. This is the most... Damn, I got 14 people watching. This is the most active live stream I've ever had in a while. Oh, man. Kiev Dynamo, I believe, is the best Ukrainian football team. Hey, JJ, I mean, I think I can probably do another election thing. I'll give you I'll give you a shout out next time I do one. Just I, I I don't think I really do election nights because election nights take a lot of work. Um well I mean, you know, I don't mind doing the work, but you know, election night I think um let's talk elections would probably kind of get mad at me for that. Since I think, I think Let's Talk Elections actually has the biggest um, base for that. Because this channel's actually been pretty, eh, ow, my stomach. Channel's actually been pretty successful. Live stream the Discord election. Yeah, live stream the Discord election. You know how much crap you'd see in there? It's a reason I only put the link. Mm, I mean, plus, um, plus the, like, the Discord election. I can't join the election night. Work takes most of the time nowadays. Um, has been the, uh, so, yeah, I guess, um, around that time, um, we would actually do an election, election night. 
when you have the time, do a campaign with Engel. I'm getting a lot of requests. You guys are so needy. I do, however, prioritize patrons, so whenever a patron actually asks me to do something, that's usually whenever I prioritize it over everything else. So, that's an option. My game is Poland, Morocco got killed by the entirety of Europe, sadly my game froze for some reason. Yeah, for some reason Spain and Morocco like to go to war, and that was evident. Um, <laughs> that was evident in my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, forgot what it was. It was like some other one. I don't think a guy called Royal Coyote has an LP as Angola. Oh, there's the Netherlands. Reform the Lithuanian Commonwealth. Should I reform the Polish? Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth? No more controls, we can't go on working like slaves, we're gonna go bankrupt if this tax investigation law keeps going. Let's check the local paper. Oh, speaking of Lithuania. Haughty attitude stated Joseph Blonsky, the Prime Minister from Lithuania, after my refusal to meet. I didn't even see him wanting to meet. All right, so let's go to religions, state power, separations of powers, so that's good. Determine level of religious freedom, scandal. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and cover that up. Yeah, there, yeah, um, Royal Coyote actually has a um, Let's Play as Angola, so yeah, I think he would like that. Have you ever tried the trick? The trick where you lower health reimbursements a ton, then max out everything else. Yes, I have. Um, uh oh, that looks like that concealment failed. The intervention countered a series of ins Good job. Verdict was announced. Heavy fine. Okay, so. Hey, how about the four of us play uh, Supreme Ruler? Let's do that. If if you guys are down like right now, I will start another live stream for that. Um, guys in the live stream, fifteen people watching. Um, would you guys want to see a uh, four? Um, well, election night, I can't really set up an election night, honestly. So that's why I can't really do an election night. Masters of the world, shut up and take my money. Hey, you, hey, um, British Bayonet, you know, if you want to give me money, <laughs> um, you can go to my Patreon. <laughs> um, I can definitely do something for an election tomorrow. Um, however, right now, I can't really set all that up. All right, so, uh, hey, Philip, uh, Republican and Backstar, do y'all want to play Supreme Ruler? I can live stream it. Form the Fourth Reich. I will fill, I will f do the Fourth Reich as a... All right, um, guys, you guys need to, like, hold off and just be here in a couple of minutes we're actually going to do this we're like the four of us are going to play uh supreme rulers so guys uh stick around i will be back in a couple of minutes so um uh, the three of y'all i will call y'all on discord and other than that guys um if you guys like this go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and come back in a couple of minutes where i'm going to be doing a um live stream for um the four of us playing supreme ruler so we should be beating the crap out of each other in a couple of minutes. And guys, I will see you guys there. Take care.